Well, CBS2 warns you about scam after scam involving fake bank employees. It's the same script. Someone calls, asks a few questions, and then poof, money disappears from your account. And sometimes the victims get their money back. That's mm -hmm. always the best case scenario. Other times, though, they don't. Morning Insider Lauren Victory shares an unusual case where a woman's refund involves a court date. The inside of this Michigan City barber shop looks pristine, even though cleaner Debbie Clemens is dealing with a big mess. I'm self-employed. I have to miss a day of work. To head to court to fight a lawsuit from Members Advantage Credit Union, over $200. It seems pretty petty to me. CBS2 tried to hear the credit union side of the story, but employees were not interested in talking. So here's what happened, according to Clemens. Someone she thought was from the credit union called to report strange activity on her account and verified debit card information with her. The code on the back. They knew it. They knew it. Almost immediately, Clemens noticed a $202 debit card charge go through to a Walgreens in Coconut Creek, Florida. It's clearly fraud, she says, for two reasons. I've never even been in the state of Florida. And Clemens says the credit union restricts her debit card usage to Indiana, Illinois, and Michigan only, not Florida. I raised a big stink on the phone with them uh, that day. I said, I want it reversed, and I want it reversed right now. Members Advantage granted Clemens a temporary credit, but later reversed it. Here's what the credit union told her to do if she wants a refund. It must be resolved directly with the merchant. I've never heard of that before, that you, you have to contact the vendor. So in addition to cleaning jobs, Clemens' side gig is being a fraud investigator. She's filed a report with Coconut Creek Police and Walgreens. Unfortunately, Walgreens does millions of transactions a day. Tracking down the scammer isn't going well. Neither is the battle with the credit union that's now charging her for that temporary credit plus attorney fees. Well, it's $552 now, so it is more than what I would make in an entire week. Do you at all regret fighting them? No, no, absolutely not. Defiant and definitely hoping this lawsuit doesn't clean her out. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Her court date is in a few weeks, and the attorney for Members Advantage Credit Union refused to comment on the case.